Hi guys, it's me again. So I'm just sat on my kitchen floor at the moment because I am breaking out some zinnias and uh, oh, look at my labels, I can't even tell what variety they are. So they've come up super quick, I forget zinnias come up super quick. I should have done these in little individual parts so I didn't have to prick them out because they hate being or hate having their roots disturbed but um, anyway I've done it all backwards and wrong but we'll see how it goes I've got plenty of time to redo them and um, I think the reason I did them I was checking if the seed was any good because these I can see this one is a peach one and um, last year none of them germinated so I just and I had a few left over and I just want to see if the seeds were okay and they've come up um, so anyway yeah I am just down here with my seed tray I need to get a pen got my pencil I'm gonna prick them out and um, oh gosh yeah so somebody said um, that I look better without my glasses. Thank you very much. That was so sweet of you. I'm having some trouble with my eyes. I need to book another eye test. I don't know if it's just because I'm tired or what, but um, yeah. And with me having this vertigo, it's easier. Um, I'm trying to, I don't know, give my eyes a rest from my glasses. Is that the thing? Anyway, so my dad has been away. He was up in Manchester visiting his brother and sister-in-law and then um, it was my brother's turn to go and get him but he's been called into work or he was called into work so he couldn't. I was free this weekend, yay! So me and my son left at 7 o'clock Saturday morning to go and get him. We got as far as the A40 in Monmouthshire and um, we had to turn around because the snow was too bad. I would have carried on the way I was doing it, me and my son, I was like, I'll just get, I've never driven in snow that bad before because I hate driving in snow and I've had no reason to do it, so I don't do it. And um, I kept on saying to my son, I'll just go to the next roundabout, there's loads of roundabouts on that stretch of road on the A40, I'll just go to the re next roundabout, I'll just go to the next roundabout and that's how we were doing it, it was getting worse and worse and worse and then, um, gosh, people do not know how to drive in the snow, they were driving like idiots, I'm sorry, I'm going to say that word, that's how they were driving, speeding, we were, were on a dual carriageway, we were down to one one lane and there was just tracks that we were following, we were in a convoy and then um, this car behind us decided to overtake and uh, in a sporty little BMW off she went and she spun, lost control and shot across onto the other side and I was like oh gee whiz you know we were going to go to the next roundabout and there was another, then there was two police cars there and somebody else had hit the central reservation and I said to my son, that's it, we're turning around. The lorries were driving like idiots. Maybe they, no, they were, they were driving, they weren't thinking, okay, you can drive in the snow. On the other side, two lanes and they were overtaking, but the snow, they were pushing it out onto the cars. So then we couldn't see. It was coming all over our cars. We couldn't see. It, oh, it was just awful. Anyway, we came back. We got back home. And then about 12 o'clock, we tried again. And we were successful. There was still loads of snow, but it melted on the road. Uh, it melted on the roads, but it was still snowing all the way um, to the M5 and um, but we got there but it was a very tiring day and then we came back on Sunday very tired I'm still getting very tired still got a bit of a cough and I'm a bit croaky 
Uh, and then I was meant to take my dad shopping today and we are still waiting um, to get a doctor's appointment so they can get the ball rolling but within three weeks gosh he's I've noticed a massive massive change in his memory and sometimes he's aware and sometimes he isn't yeah I've got a lot of thinking of what to do because this is coming on a lot quicker than I would like maybe they you know hopefully the doctors can do something and and delay it a bit it runs in my dad's side of the family little things like today he was like right I'm gonna phone the doctor I'm gonna make the appointment and I was like you know dad we've already got it we're just waiting for it to come through waiting to get it sorted no 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 I'm phoning the doctor I was like fine fine and then I said well you can't phone till after 12 because it's not an emergency right okay so he phoned me and he was like I can't get through it's, it's saying it's unavailable I was like yeah you have to wait till 12 o'clock dad and he was like right okay it is 12 o'clock I said no it's only two minutes to and I know that's crazy but they will not turn those phones on till 12 o'clock fine so then he phoned to say oh I've got an American person talking to me on the phone what Anyway, I went down there because he still wants his independence and I still want to think like he can do things. It's very hard, isn't it? Anyway, I went down there and um, I don't know where he got that phone number from, but it wasn't the, it wasn't the doctor's. He said he, it was saved in his phone and I was like, well, if it was saved in your phone, why have you written it down? And uh, it was missing numbers and it didn't have the area code and yeah it was just mess so then he got really upset that he couldn't make a simple phone call and oh it's just hard work it's real hard work and I'm gonna have to really think about stuff now because I always go away camping with my brother and sister-in-law during Whitson and I don't feel comfortable doing that. I don't feel comfortable leaving him now. You know, I don't know if it's because I was meant to take him shopping today. He said he's got a tummy bug and he's been up all night poorly, which could be the case, absolutely. But has it eaten something he shouldn't have because I didn't go through his fridge? Maybe I should have gone through his fridge to check like he hasn't eaten something that he left in there three weeks ago before he went away. So things like that are catching me off guard at the moment because I thought he was still okay to know the difference between what not to eat and what was safe to eat. I don't know or is he saying that because he's got scared and he doesn't want to go shopping and he doesn't want to leave the house again now he's here because that's been a massive issue oh dear so I need to get my head round round this right then I've got my I've got my zinnias pricked out and I've got um, Olaya here Grandiflora None of them are coming up yet. I don't know what the seeds are like for them. Um, but I'll just leave them in for a minute. Um, I'll uh, do carry on with my other seedlings. What else have I got? I'm in my pyjamas. I'm not going out again. It's miserable out there. So I'm in my pyjamas. Okay, in here I've got some stock and some more flocks. Flocks and stocks. The... Creme brulee ones are coming through. This is my second sowing of the flocks of sheep. Nothing. I've got some tapestry ones here as well. Nothing, but you know, I'll leave it. But I'm going to prick out these apricot stocks. And when I'm doing this, I know zinnias don't like it cold, stock are not keen on it cold. So they can go in the tray together because they like the same conditions. 
and I just use any multi-purpose compost I have. I got this compost actually last year from Wilco's and it was really cheap. It was on special offer. I got it. When I open it, it smells, it stinks like manure. But it's it's fine to use for seedlings. If there's any big chunky bits in, I just chuck it. I don't use any special um, compost for my seeds. I also get, um, well, I got some compost from B&M. They were doing three bags for £12 again last year. And I think it's Grow More. And it's got like four months worth of plant food in it but any compost that I can get on special offer because it's so expensive. So that is my mission this year. I made some lovely compost last year, but it was from my old pot and my old pot had mare's tail. So I emptied that compost on my old pot for the, uh, the new people that are gonna take over. They've got all that lovely compost. So I know I can make some. So um, that is uh, that is what I'm going to be doing this year, is concentrating on, on making compost. I've got four, I call them Daleks, they're like these green plastic things with lids. And in one of them I've got an ant's nest and I know it's a pain in the bum, but oh my goodness, the compost was beautiful, it was so fine, it was gorgeous. And I do put weeds in there, the big ones that haven't like broken down. I um, pick out and bring home and bring in my and um, put it in my green bin for the bin men to take. Um, that's usually like the bindweed. Yeah, I do it in layers, and I have black plastic, my old compost bags, and I put that over to try and um, keep the light out as well, keep it a little bit dry so it gets nice and hot in there to kill all the weeds. Um, it's a cold, I haven't got a hot composter, I wish I did, oh that would be amazing wouldn't it, one day, one day, but I think they're like £200, gosh. So these are my little stock seedlings, they're only teeny tiny, I seem to find it fine pricking them out when they're early, some people like to leave them until they have like their true leaves. I don't do that. I tend to pick out my seedlings when they're teeny tiny. And these are all gonna be staying in my house. It's too cold. They will not, they will not survive. These won't anyway. They do like a bit of heat. I think they're called half hardy annuals. Okay, I've got a few more things coming up, but they're not ready to prick out. I know I like to prick them out teeny tiny, but they're literally just poking their heads out. So I'm going to leave them in there for now. Give them a few more days. Right, I, I'm just going to find a window now for these to go on. I have been cutting a load of fabric out today to, be, um, to make some bunting, so I'll show you that next. I hope you can see me guys, I cannot see you whatsoever, sorry I haven't got my glasses on. I don't have any fancy equipment, I have my template, I have a marker or a pen and my scissors. I invested in some new fabric scissors this year because my son used my old fabric scissors for cutting paper. And then I bought a scissor sharpener as well. This is what I have been doing. I have been, and this is what I do of an evening as well. So I have laminate foil in my lounge and it's big enough that I can sit here. I put something on YouTube and I get to work. I mark the fabric out on the floor and then I come up here and I cut it all out. So I'm just busy cutting loads and loads of different fabrics for my bunting to go in my Etsy shop. So hopefully this will be ready soon. Um, and I just think this is a perfect job of an evening 
when it's cold and miserable and raining outside. Lots of gorgeous, gorgeous different fabrics. And after I cut them all out, my next job will be to iron them all, then to sew, then to iron again. Put loads and loads, some lovely sunflower fabric, yellows, oops. Got this gorgeous fabric with bugs on it. I got this navy fabric with mushrooms on it. Oh, yeah, I have just got lots and lots and lots. So I will carry on cutting my bunting up. Yeah, I put something lovely on YouTube to watch. I have the. I don't really watch a lot of telly. I tend to watch my phone a lot. My son is playing a game online with his school friends, so that's what you can hear in the background. He's shouting, we're playing a team, or I don't know. I don't understand it, so don't ask, because he just gets annoyed with me when I ask questions. But yeah, oh gosh. Is it bedtime yet? <laughs> oh, and tonight for dinner, I am doing chicken drumsticks. I bought oh, ages ago and I froze them, I added a Chinese marinade to them in a bag, shook them all up and froze them like that. So we're having Chinese chicken, uh, my son is having a jacket potato and um, some mashed carrot that I mashed and froze and then um, me and my dad will have Duchess potatoes. I bought them from Lidl at Christmas. My son is not keen for them. They're okay. They're nothing, you know, to shout out about really. But they will do for me and my dad. But my son doesn't like them, so he's having a jacket. But me and my dad will have them. With some mashed carrot as well. I know a lot of people have asked um, about my last video about my plot tour. Thanks for being so kind about my scruffy plot. And I'm so glad that a lot of people's plots are looking like that as well. I pay £140 here a year in Cardiff. Oh well, just over £140. But I pay it by direct debit and I pay it for 10 months. Like, a bit like the council tax, you pay for 10 months. And I pay £14 something a month for 10 months and it goes from February to November. I get December and January off. I know some of them are a lot cheaper than that and I'm very envious of you and your cheap plots. If you're over 60 you get them half price. Right I'm gonna um, sort dinner out. So here's my dinner tonight. Um, chicken drumsticks and yeah they are cooked. I cook them in a Chinese marinade so it makes the chicken go red. So if anybody says it looks raw, it's not. It's just the marinade. They have been cooking now for over an hour. Actually, I think they're a bit too done. But it doesn't matter. At least I know they're well cooked. Uh, those are those Duchess potato things. And I'm just having some cucumber with mine. Uh, my son and my dad had... Uh, mashed carrot and my son had jacket potatoes instead of these potatoes ah oh, so I'm feeling pretty pretty tired by now guys and um, not hungry at all but anyway I'm gonna sit down now with my son to eat this my dad's had his I'm trying to stay away from him just in case it is a tummy bug because um, I really don't want that yeah so I'm gonna eat this and then my evening will consist of cutting more fabric, yay! Another happy place, cutting fabric, love fabric. Um, so thanks for watching guys, take care and I will see you soon. Hi guys, me again, oh gosh, what a day, it's sunny, yay! Oh, I'm so happy and I've done way more than I should today and now I'm, I'm feeling it and regretting it a little bit but I just didn't think you know when you're just used to doing stuff and you know you can do it and I did it and um, 
and yeah now I'm not feeling great so I'm just gonna have a cup of tea I'm gonna have a bowl of cereal I'm loving these um, I used to call them uh, honey nut loops uh, these are Aldi's own uh, multi-grain hoops they're not the honey ones um, with a bit of milk these are not the best ones I've had but I bought them and I'm gonna eat them <laughs> and it's just something quick and easy to grab so went to work then on the way home from work I had to pick up some cleaning supplies for the Airbnb so I did that and um, had a nosy round and got a few things for myself yay so these were from B&M the other day I <laughs> I trapped my finger in a window, it got um, jammed and I pulled it and uh, trapped my finger and do you think I could find a plaster? I couldn't find one plaster, my son's had a lot so I got some plasters for 59p from B&M uh, there's 40 in here um, and then I'm desperate to do my hair, I haven't dyed my hair for ages and I usually get um, a cheapy one for $1.99 but they didn't have any today so I just got this one $2.99 is just a box dye and I put it on to cover my grey hairs basically it make me feel a little bit better I was noticing in a video the other day I looked really tired I got bags under my eyes so I thought this weekend I'm gonna have a bit of a pamper weekend so I am gonna dye my hair my um my sister bought some face masks for me and my son and uh, and we love having a face mask on she got us some um, two pink clay ones so i've got a face mask as well but my sister bought me that put a nice mask on dye my hair i've got some um hair mask thing treatments um that I got bought ages ago and i still got them so i'll i'll treat my hair as well and then i got this it's a hydrating face serum to hydrate, moisturise and plump your skin up. So I thought, great, I'll treat myself to a bit of that, get my skin feeling a bit better after this horrible virus I've had and the winter. Oh, that's quite... <laughs> that's how big you think you're going to get it and that's actually the size. Anyway. Hmm. Yeah, it's a bit thinner than I thought. Use daily after cleansing. Apply two to three drops of the serum and smooth into the skin on your face. Net reveal touchable, soft, and lovely skin and a dewy glow. That's what we want, isn't it? A nice glow. And that was two pound forty nine. So, but I thought it's still cheaper than going to a salon and uh, being pampered by somebody else it'll be a nice way to make me feel good again mm. are you a kind of a crunchy cereal person or a soggy cereal person i don't like my cereal too crunchy i like to soak it so it goes a bit soggy and i love cornflakes with hot milk and it makes them go soggy too you put them in the microwave oh gorgeous oh what cornflakes do now huh Mm. So when I got home the postman has been and I'm busy cutting lots of fabric to make bunting and I just wanted a bit more, so I've ordered some more so I thought I'd show you what fabrics I've bought so I've bought a green and a blue and I call these like a ditzy flower, tiny little flowers and there's also like a grey one as well. Is that grey or green? I'm not sure. Then I bought a nice blue flowery one. And a sunflower one. Little blue flower. These look a bit like forget me nots, but they're not. And then I bought some just plain fabrics as well um, but the colours that I thought I'd ordered are completely different <laughs> to what I ordered online and I know it's really hard isn't it when you order online the colour can be 
completely different but they're still gorgeous colours and I will use them so I'm very happy. So I got like a, a dark orange, a light orange and a yellow. They look really pretty together don't they? Very nice and summery. I got like um, a dark blue one which I thought was a lighter blue but never mind. <coughs> I will still use it. And then I got a pale green and then I thought I ordered like a sage green but it's come as a bright green. And then I ordered a pale pink but it's come as white. But still, I will use them and they are lovely fabrics. So that is Material Girl Fabrics and she's on Facebook and also has a website. And then I got this fabric from Remnant House Fabrics. And these are gorgeous. I wanted some like vintage flowery fabrics. So I got pink rose on white or cream. I got a pink rose on green. I've had these fabrics before. They're ace, uh, rose and herbal fabrics. Gorgeous. I got like a greeny one with a brown flower. I got a cream fabric with a green polka dot, a cream fabric with a pink polka dot and then I got this green fabric with like a dark pink and a light pink. They're either roses or peonies. Gorgeous. And then I got a green fabric with a cream polka dot and then like I'd say this was like a mauve or a winy colour with a cream spot as well and uh, yeah I just think oh I'm gonna make some gorgeous bunting out of these guys so super chuffed with that it's always great to come home to uh, post and I just want to say thank you so much for all your lovely cards wow cards letters seeds thank you so much I have posted a load of the Babington leaks. I've got some more to post, but I still have some. And I'm going to remind you all, you're going to be fed up of hearing about Babington leaks. So all you have to do, if you live in the UK and you want some Babington leaks, my email address, email address will be in the description below. And um, you can email me your address and I will get some Babington leaks out to you. And um, I'm going to do some bunting for my allotment. I'm going to paint my shed. I'm going to put some bunting around my shed, I think. I've got some lights in the garden. Uh, well, in my dad's garden. And hanging. Oh, my dad bought some little things to go on it. But they've faded. They're plastic. And they look yucky now. So I thought, right. I'm going to make some bunting as well to go out there and hang on my lights just to try and cheer us up a little bit. Oh, I just hope this sun lasts a bit longer. I am dying to get up to the allotment now. It's March, I need to start digging, weeding, everything's growing again. It's just too wet. And I can't do too much at the moment either. I might take a walk up there in a bit to make myself feel better I'll see how I'm feeling I'm gonna organize my fabric now and start cutting it that'll be tonight's job I just love 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 of an evening sitting here and cutting my fabric out listening to something on YouTube um, my favorite pastime and then this weekend I'm gonna have a lovely pamp night. I've got some Epsom salts. I'm going to have nice Epsom salts in my bath. Dye my hair. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Right then guys, thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you soon. Bye. Hi guys, me again. Oh, so slight change of plan today and I'm going to go to the allotment for a little while. I need to keep my mind occupied today. Um, I am... Um, off to the allotment for a little while. Gosh, I think I did a little bit too much yesterday. After after I picked my son up from school, we went to the trampoline park 
and uh, by the time I got home, oh, my back was hurting so much. I got some rest last night and then the power went off about three o'clock this morning and when it came back on, it set all the house alarms off on the street. <laughs> so they were going on for ages. So uh, I did get some rest, but I'm feeling really tired today. So I'm gonna go over to the allotment and and just take it nice and easy a lot of you guys have said you know don't get stressed just do a little bit and i thought right if i just go over there and do five minutes work and then sit for two hours <laughs> at least i feel like i've done something i just want to say a massive thank you for all my lovely cards i know i've already said thank you but thank you so much it means the world to me and all my lovely things that you've been sending me. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you very much. And I've had loads of seeds and stuff sent me. Oh, you guys know me so well. Thank you. So here I have a six in one butterfly and bee collection. I've got butterfly flower, not clear what that one is. Foxglove, lavender, cosmos and evening stock. Yay, loads of flowers and I can I can start with some of these now. I got a bee friendly flower mix. And I also got some gladioli bulbs. Look at that. And do you know what? I went to Home Bargains yesterday and um, they had some gladioli bulbs there and I thought oh, I'm going to get some. I think it was like 99p for eight. Oh my gosh, the bulbs, or whatever they call them. Um, yeah, I think they're bulbs, not corns, aren't they, the bulbs? They were like marbles, they were teeny tiny. They were smaller than my potatoes. Crazy. So yeah, anyway, glad you know bulbs, yay. And they've got some beautiful colors here. A rusty one, a white one, and a pink. And then I've been sent some Swede, yay! I love Swede, love it. And it's really easy, easy to grow. And it stores well. I got some basil seeds. And I also got this six in one collection, a herb garden. So I got basil, thyme, rocket, herb mix, chive and Italian leaf mix. I'm so excited about these. Yay, our oh, ace. This is giving me the push I need to, um, the motivation just to go there and have a look. It's dry, it's very cloudy, and I thought because it was cloudy, it's going to be warmer today, but it's not, it's cooler, but that's fine because once I start moving, I, um, I will warm up. I'm just making a plan and thinking ahead what will be going out first. So my potatoes will be planted up first. So I need to get some space ready for them. I need to feed my garlic as well. This is perfect time to feed it. I've um, got some chicken manure pellets that I bought like two years ago, a massive 20 kilogram bag. I've got it here in in the garage so I will fill like a little bag up and then I take it over to the allotment in, in little bags at a time but I'm just going to take it nice and easy. Right I am going to make a cup of tea now in a flask to take with me. Hi guys me again so um, I forgot my camera at home but I'm at the allotment I've come up here and I've just been doing some strimming and um, sorry it's a bit windy. Every time I strip, my arms feel like jelly afterwards. It's so strange. Sorry about the wind. Anyway, I'm just going to, um, yeah, I've done some strimming. I'll show you quickly. And then I bed the garlic as well. So I've just been strimming the paths quickly. And then my um, battery ran out on my strimmer. It's just a little battery strimmer. Is. I'll need to give it a few cuts but I've done the first one and it's dry today yay so this is the garlic here and I've just given it some chicken manure but I don't know how well it's going to do this one here 
Look, it's still... I don't know if it's going to come to anything. I hope the others do. I did plant a couple more that I lost, but I don't know if they'll come to anything. It's been so mild this winter. I don't know if it will uh, split up or if I'll just get one big bulb and it won't split up into clothes because it needs the cold to uh, so it's, uh, in order for it to split. So I cut these three big branches down and just stripped them as much as I could and cut it all down and made a pile there. Some of this I will be taking back home to fill up my veggie bed. Um, but it won't be today. I have, I've done too much. I should have stopped like half an hour ago and I kept going. Silly, I know. But anyway, I bought the car with me. I'm so glad I bought the car. There's no way I'd walk home with that um, strimmer today. And then... I've, this is where all the wood was, so I've cleared all this now, um, and I need to, this is where the strawberries were last year. And then, um, I've just started on this bed, but I've had to call it a day, um, just been weeding it, and this is where my potatoes are going to go. I was going to put my potatoes in that bed, but I've got wild garlic coming up, and, um, and something tells me that I shouldn't be planting garlic and potatoes together I don't know why or maybe they are good to plant together but anyway I'm gonna I'm gonna plant them in here in this little bed here ah so still loads to do but I've made a start I'm back at home now gosh I did too much <coughs> I should have stopped about half an hour before I did but I kept on thinking I'll just do one more bit of one. I'll just do one more bit of this. I'll just do one more bit of that. Hello, fluffy pantaloons. Oh, she's beautiful. The little cat's here. You gonna come say hello? Ooh. Oh, she's fluffy. She is looking gorgeous. She's put some weight on. Her coat is looking amazing. Yeah. We noticed somebody put some fleece stuff on you the other day, so you got no fleeces. Yeah? Oh, she's gorgeous. And she's happy. Oh, what'd you make a tea? Hey? You nearly went head first into that, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she loves some fusses. Oh, she loves some fusses. Carry Grundy. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. You like to be right up here, don't you, by my face? She likes, if you pick her up, she likes to sit on your shoulders. Oh, she's flirty. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's gorgeous. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's beautiful. And she's looking so much better, aren't you? Yeah, you're going to put your foot in my cup, no? I don't want your fluffy tail in my face. Hey, you want some tea? Yeah, what you don't get your paws stuck in my jumper now. Ow, I've got leggings on. Making puddings in me. Hey, who's making puddings? Mm-mm-mm-mm. Wait, come on, come on, back and eat. She's really funny eating. Oh, she's a gorgeous. Oh, she's a gorgeous. Yeah. Go on, go and eat. Bless her, she, uh, she has funny ways. And um, she's very skittish. And the slightest little noise sets her off. And then... I don't know if she's had to fight for food, um, but any little noise when she's eating, she stops eating, she runs off, so I have to go down and just talk to her. And as long as I talk to her, she will eat. And then she's quite happy again then. Oh, I am so chuffed I went to the allotment. My arms feel like spaghetti. Got this weird pain in my shoulder. Um, 
but yeah, super chuffed I went. And I know it doesn't look like I got a lot done on the video, but like I said before I went, and like you guys have all told me, if I just do a little, it helps. And it just makes me feel so much better that I know that I've been there. I've done nowhere near as much as I usually do, and I would have stayed there a lot longer. But anyway, I've been and I've managed to do a little bit, and I'm hoping to spend the weekend there because um, I've got another weekend off. I can't believe it. Two weekends on the road. But last weekend I went to get my dad, so that was uh, that was pretty tough going. Are you knocking the camera? Hey, cheeky pants. Um, yeah, so I've got another weekend off, so I'm hoping the weather's going to be dry. Don't care if it's windy, don't care if it's cold, as long as it's dry and I can get up there. Here yeah, she is. Oh, she's beautiful. Oh, she's beautiful. Mm. I am a cat person. I love dogs as well, don't get me wrong. My sisters have got dogs and they're absolutely gorgeous. And um, my eldest sister's three dogs. Oh. If I could get a dog like one of those three, I would more than happy have a house full of them because they're so chilled out, they're so well behaved. Um, but yeah, I am, I am a cat person. I've always had cats. My last cat was, I, I rescued her from a rubbish, I always rescue cats, I don't, I, uh, I don't, buy special breeds or anything like that. I always rescue them from somewhere and um, rescued them from the dump. And it turned out she was a gray Russian cat. And I thought she was a boy, so I called her Jake. And then she had kittens underneath my bed one day. And so I called her Mama Jake. Yes, we did, we called her Mama Jake. And she lived till she was 19. She was amazing. And then she got problems with her liver. And after that, I said, no more. My son is desperate for a pet. Um, but you cost, don't you? Yeah, and it's okay me giving you a pouch every now and then, some foodies. But to look after you full time, it costs money. And I just, um, I just can't afford a pussy cat, so we'll have to borrow you every now and then. Yes, we will. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look through my seeds and, uh, and maybe plant some herbs. We'll see how it goes, I'm very tired now. Oh my goodness, come on. Right guys, thanks for watching. Take care and I will see you soon, bye.